Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well. So I come again with a new topic in Success Factors today. And as you seen already from the thumbnail, our today's topic in is how to maintain data purge in Success Factors. So it is very uh, widely used process in Success Factors actually, not only in implementation come rollout and migration projects, but also in regular uh, data maintenance purpose as well. We have to do a lot of data purge uh, activities. And today I am going to show how we can manage that in an efficient way in success factors. But before proceeding, I like to request everyone please pause your video, hit the red sub subscriber button so that uh, if I upload any new video, you can get the notification soonest. And also, uh, please watch my previous up uploaded videos as well and my check my playlist. Uh, you can get the, uh, get the details of my playlist uh, from the right top corner here actually. Uh, definitely uh, that uh, other videos definitely help you to understand more in success factor in different topics. So let's uh, start today's topic now. First uh, step in this configuration is we have to define the data purge rules and the second step is process data purge job means after defining the data purge rule we have to schedule that uh, data purge job and we need to process that that is the second step so as for the first step uh, what are the sub steps of defining the data purge rules first thing is we need to define the data pur uh, purge request type so there are different request types are available we can check in the system later which request type we need to choose for which purposes second step is uh, purge user criteria we need to choose a specific criteria for specific uh, data purge activities we can see it in the system as well and third uh, sub step is criteria to exclude users so if you want as per your data purge rule all users should not be purged some set of users need to exclude so you can set that criteria in the system as well so that uh, when the rule will pick up the users for the purging purpose that can exclude those users and the last one is in data purge rules set approver you can set one approver as well so that when the data purge job will trigger uh, that will stuck to that approval first based on that approval's decision either approve or reject next process can came into the picture so this is the uh, whole about the defining data purge rules now which particular tool we have to choose uh, for data purge uh, rules def uh, defining purpose that is data retention management which is available in the admin tool in success factor we can check it in the system and in process data purge uh, job uh, the first sub step, sub step is uh, when we schedule the job for data purge then uh, the first step in process data purge job it will come to the approver and approver can approve or reject the data purge request and the second step is if the data per job is approved and it is processed then after completing the process the logs are also available to download from that log we can identify which users are purged and which users are not able to post because of errors so that log is also available from here and what is the tool we used for process process data per job that is maintenance monitor which is also available in the admin tools so guys let's check it in the system uh, first in data purge we have to create uh, one data purge rule to delete one inactive employee so we have to go to first data retention management it is a uh, one of the admin tools so here you can see uh, you can create data purge rules so let's create one data purge rule for that so in this drop down you can see select a data purge request type the lot of data purge request types are available you need to choose which particular type 
means uh, based on your requirement you need to choose which particular type uh, on which you are going to create the data purge rule so here our objective is to uh, delete an inactive user so let's choose this first so here you can see you can create the rules based on the uh, department selection division selection location selection or whatever other selections you can uh, create the rules based on that so that means uh, within if you select one department within that department whatever the users are inactive okay so those users are going to be paused using this rule in other way you can also upload a list of users which you are going to delete or uh, purge from the system so what should be the template you can get the template from here the format is like this you just put the user IDs and those users are going to be purged using this rule or else if you want to purge a single user you just select the first option select a single user so from here you can also uh, going to delete so uh, here we are choosing one user just check it first do that user really exist in the system and what is the status of the user So we can find one inactive user from this search include inactive users okay this is the user and it is an inactive user so and this user is still exist in our system we can see this user but it is inactive now we are going to purge this user so just select those uh, select that user and uh, in this checkbox we can restrict uh, we can build some criteria in our data purge as well that means if that user's data exists in performance management form or calibration session or that in other means employ uh, in job information or ec any kind of ec data that uh, users data do exist then this uh, data purge rule will exclude that user from purging so you can choose as per your requirement if there is any requirement that uh, any of the users data exist in performance management form then those users need to be excluded then you can tick this criteria so our requirement is whatever the users is, uh, data do exist in the system or not but we have to purge the user so we just untick this option and here in approver I'm, uh, here you can also put some approver as well so that part, uh, particular person can approve prior the data purge and after the approval of that person only the data purge request can be processed so it also implies the security measures in data purge request as well so here i am putting one uh, sf admin that is me right now here and save our rule so you can see here one purge inactive user uh, rule is created by us and here the approver is sf admin and as per this rule we are going to purge the user violet mcmanus so let's and here uh, you can schedule the rule as well as per your requirement that means the rule will be triggered in recurring way as per the schedule criteria or you can launch it immediately as well so for our testing purpose we are going to launch that uh, data purge rule uh, immediate basis so we just launch the rule after launching where we can get or we can see 
uh, the workflow is waiting for approval or rejection that is in maintenance monitor tool so let's go to that tool you can see one purge request is pending here for approval as I am the owner of this purge request so I have the rights to approve or decline that so I am just approving now now the request is getting approved and after approval or rejection you can find one email in your inbox as well which is getting triggered as per the workflow configurations so now the purging is complete let's test it again So we are now trying to search that user Bhalat MacMohan still exists in our system or not. Now it is not found. That means that user is getting purged. So guys, this is where we can purge any uh, user. And if you want to purge one user's partial data, not the full data, you can also do that from. You can also do that from data retention management tool as well so if you're going to create one rule you can see not only their option of purging full inactive user but also you can find uh, purge time management data person information data employee information information data so that partial or particular that data only is going to be purged not the full employee profile so in this way we can purge a full employee or the partial data of that employee using data purge rules